Hi again. So welcome back to the show. Um, today we got a good idea. I hope it's a good idea. So, um, lately, for a few videos now, I've um, briefly mentioned on and off again how um, Marvel's Build-A-Figure sets are meh. And I feel like we could do better, but we don't. <laughs> some of them are really good, but some of them are not good. <laughs> um, so I had an idea, you know, I've done a few sets, I've uh, mapped out some sets that we could do, that we're probably never going to do. Um, sets like building Nidhogg, Ymir, and Mephisto, and I'm thinking of more, and today I had a good idea, at first I was going to uh, make a set for Sloryoth the Omnivorous, but then I was like, there's probably not enough characters that I can relate to Sloryoth, and it doesn't have to be like this world-breakingly huge character, you know? Some Build-A-Figure sets are for characters that are not that big, like still above human size, but not world-breaker size. So characters like Man-Thing, and Sasquatch have had their own sets, so let's make a set for the Armadillo. So when was that? When was his first appearance? 1985 he uh, showed up and he was um, experimented on by I think the Jackal? Miles Warren, I don't want to, uh, like, don't take my word on that, I'm gonna have to check that. No, it was, uh, Dr. Carlin Malice. So, he's not, um... I don't recognize the name of that doctor, so we're not going to relate that as our first pick. But pretty early on in Armadillo's um, run, I guess, his first foe that he fought was Captain America. So let me just tape this note down to the binder as I did with all the other ones. So I think the, uh, the first two that would definitely be on this list of who we would by to build armadillo the first two would definitely be captain america and spider-man because armadillo is usually um when you think of armadillo you think of spider-man he's usually a spider-man villain You know, I just saw this, uh, meme. It was about Endgame. Or, I guess, the saga in a whole. But it was about, um... From the biggest events... Sorry, um, advertisements keep popping up on my Kindle. Like, no matter what I'm doing... 
there's just an advertisement for anything. Could be anything. Um, I don't know. Don't know what that noise is about. But anyways, so this meme was about um, Falcon being in one of the most um, well-known and most appreciated movies, but no one really knows his actor. Like, we don't, or I for one don't know his name, and I'm sure a lot of fans um, feel like they don't know him. <laughs> Like they do the other characters. So, our first two picks that we would definitely choose are Captain America and Spider Man. So, let me just write Armadillo here by a uh, big asterisk. You know, I write slow. I realize that I write slow. So let's, um, let's just have me say who else could be on this list. And I'll put it later or something. Um, hmm. Who else could be on this list? I see Goliath as I'm scrolling down here. I see the uh, blue tagline for Goliath, but he's normally a big guy, so I don't think that would work. Goliath might be a set that we could do. That would be cool. Um, okay, let's read this uh, little paragraph here uh, because it says Iron Man, so I want to know what's his ties to Iron Man? Rodriguez, which is his last name, his real name, served time in the supervillain correctional facility known as the Vault. Truly repentant, he awaited for parole. During the Armor Wars and due to Iron, Man, Iron Man's attack on the Vault, the center suffered a power outage and many prisoners were freed from their cells. Armadillo tried to run away alongside fellow runaways Mr. Hyde and Titania. However, she considered that Armadillo could slow the group and knocked him away? Okay. Um, Armadillo eventually escaped on his own, finding Captain America's van and a person protecting it, Vagabond, one of Captain America's allies. Vagabond convinced Armadillo to surrender willingly and return to the vault. She also convinced him to abandon his original scheme to get revenge on his unfaithful wife. Okay, so I read about Vagabond um, just a few days ago, actually. Um, I found her which was a total fluke, I found her article on fandom, and I read it, and I like her character. So that's a third one that we could use, because I like her, and she's a lesser-known character. So in just about every Build-A-Figure set that Marvel Legends does, there's two characters that are lesser-known, and instead of getting their names on the front of the box, like everyone else in the set, it's only on the back. But, I mean, Vagabond would be a good one for that. And, um, the U.S. Agent. So, I don't think Armadillo directly has ties with the U.S. Agent, but I really like the U.S. Agent. Um, what's this about Isbiza? Is Biza, I think that's the guy that killed, um, 
Robert Frank, the wizard. Not to be confused with wizard. He's not a wizard. He, he's not a wizard like magic. He's a wizard because he runs fast. He whizzes this way and whizzes that way. So, I think um, I think Isbisa was the one that killed Wizard. So, let me uh, read this little paragraph. It's right after the last one that I just read. So, years later, Loki in disguise appeared in the vault to help Wizard, the magic one, escape from the vault. To do so, he set loose all of the prisoners. Okay. <laughs> Iron Man tried to stop them, and he was attacked by many of the prisoners, including Armadillo. So we should put Iron Man. Okay, so what do we got so far? We've got Cap, Spider-Man, Vagabond, U.S. Agent, um, Iron Man... And let's continue reading. Eventually, Armadillo is... No, that's the wrong paragraph. No, it is. It's the right paragraph. Eventually, Armadillo escaped the vault before Iron Man could seal it off. He was then summoned from his current moment by Isbiza, a supervillain with time control powers. So Isbiza could be the sixth one, but I don't know. I mean, we've already got two characters that are a lot lesser known, uh, Vagabond and the U.S. Agent, but Isbiza is directly linked to Armadillo, so we can swap out the U.S. Agent for Isbiza. So... Let's continue reading. So Ispiza is a supervillain with time control powers, and he wanted to distract She-Hulk with some villains, including Calban, Jack-O-Lantern, Juggernaut, Master Mold, Rhino, and Sabretooth. But the villains attacked each other instead of She-Hulk, and so Ispiza could be easily defeated. That kind of screwed everything up. I mean, that would have actually been a really cool team. <laughs> um, the villains returned to the moment they were taken from. Okay, that's just lame. <laughs> um... During the Acts of Vengeance, Armadillo fell under the mind control of Doctor Doom and was ordered, alongside many other villains, to attack the Fantastic Four in Washington, D.C. while they were giving a speech to Congress. Armadillo and his pals were defeated by the Thing, the Human Torch, and She-Thing? There's a She-Thing? Okay. Armadillo was sent back to the vault. I don't know. So who will be our number six? You know, there's no, um, or there's very few. I don't want to say there's no toys, but there's very few toys of the thing. So, I mean, he could be our number six, since he was just mentioned there. And with that, we have six people. And now the video is beyond ten minutes. So, I'll go ahead and fill this... Um, thing out, this notepad, this little sticky note, and we will um, do this again sometime.
I don't know what's with my Kindle. Playing ads, like, for no apparent reason. It's not, um... It doesn't have to do with what I'm doing, because I could be not even having anything open, and it'll play an ad. So... It's... It's not okay. This Kindle isn't okay. It's not in a okay state. If I had a better option, then I would take it. <laughs> um... I basically do, but, um, my old phone, my, um, older, um, ZTE Sonata number two, I need to, um, get all the information off of it, everything out of the notepad, and then I need to do a factory reset because there's barely any apps, and it says the storage is basically full. I went to, um, the Motorola website or whatever, and I was like, how do I make more, um, storage? And they took me through six steps, and I looked through there, and it was none of them. So... I'm, I'm basically screwed out of ever really using my old phone, but I could, you know, if it worked. <laughs> so, anyways, I gotta get that sorted, and then we should be all good. I should be able to take everything that's on my Kindle and put it on my uh, old phone, and then I can just not have this device that all it does is play ads so hopefully I'm hopeful <laughs> and I'll see you guys next time so the video is basically done I've said all my piece and we're almost at 20 minutes so before I waste any more of your time I hope you have a good one, a good rest of the night, and I'll see you Wednesday, I hope. So Wednesday is the day after my first day of my job, so I'll tell you how that went. Peace.